Yarny friends, this is Stephanie with Stephanie's Yarn Escape. Thank you for joining me for episode number 10. It is Sunday, September 27th, um, and this is a crochet podcast that basically talks about crochet. Um, a little bit of knitting, but I haven't knitted for a little bit, so, and anything that's basically yarn related. Um, so, I'm going to start off with what I'm drinking. I am drinking, uh... It's by Bigelow Salted Caramel uh, Black Tea. It is very delicious. Very scrumptious. And I have a little bit of sugar and some skim milk. And it, it's quite tasty. It's like hitting the spot. Like, it's perfect for like this fall weather. It's a little warm today. Um, it's not too bad though. But the leaves are starting to turn in colors and stuff around the area. Uh, me and my daughter got our fall decorations out yesterday. So... Um, she's all about the decorating. She just loves decorating. Um, so yeah, and it's, and it's nice, um, that she gets excited about that. So yeah, I got my fall stuff out and we're ready for fall. So anyways, today I have to show you guys, for those of you that follow me on Facebook, I announced that my cow blanket is done. It is 100% finished. Ends are weaved in and it's steamed. Uh, and it looks awesome. So let me, let me, let's just get started. Okay. So here's the pattern that I use. It's, I found it on Etsy. Uh, it's a paper pattern. It comes with, um, a, the graph that you need to follow to, uh, crochet your stitches and know when to change color. Um, and here is finished cow blanket so yes I'll be sure to try to insert a picture there too to see it overall um but yes I'm very excited about it it looks so awesome and he's so cute I call him Mr. Cow um Yes, I finished this off last night. I finally weaved in the last end last evening, and I was very excited. I get very excited when there's a big project on my hooks, and I finish it. So, it's just, I just love that. So, anyways, the yarn I used, and I didn't bring the yarn with me, and I don't know why. So, the white is Karen One Pound White, and then the colored yarn is the um, Red Heart Comfort. Um, I have, it didn't have colors on the ball bands, but it's a, a dark brown, a light brown, and this is taupe, that stripe. And then he's used throughout all, all those colors, all those four colors. So yes. So she is going to get that tomorrow. I'm very excited. So there's that. That's the only finished object that I have because if you guys been following me for a little bit now, you know that I've been working on this guy for um, a little over a month now. So, yes. Um, and then I have a few whips I got to show you guys. Um, like I said, that took up my time. I worked on that every day this week, every evening, um, just to finish it up. Um, I did get my yarn mess I showed you guys in the last episode under control. Uh, so once I did that, it was smooth sailing from there. So once I got past that, um, and then the other object that I uh, showed you guys last week is the, it's the Buffalo pla plaid family hats. I think I forgot to show the pattern, um, last week, um, with my white hat, my ribbed hat that I finished. <laughs> excuse me um this has this is basically three patterns in one um it's the ribbed hat and it's a buffalo plaid hat and then you can have a brim that is um you can fold up or a brim that is just uh shorter and it just you don't fold it up um my daughter uh decided to do what well, she wanted me to do a white ribbed hat with a gray pom-pom and i did that in a child's size so I'm doing a matching one um, in gray 
This is Karen Simply Soft Gray Heather. Um, I'm going to do this gray one and then I'm going to do a white pom pom to match. So I worked on this um, a little in between things um, throughout the week. Um, I was only like two rows in, two and a quarter rows in the last time I showed you guys. Um, nice, nice stretch. This is going to be an adult size one. So I, it's, I got, I'm a little over halfway done, I think. So hopefully that'll be finished for next week. So once I finished the cow blanket, um, I was just going to move down the line of the orders that I have going on currently. And the next one is, um, I did earlier in, um, some of my episodes, you guys, um, would have seen that I did some children's sweaters. Um, and I had a friend of mine, um, want two of them. I only did three and she wanted two of the bigger size ones. Well, once she stopped over to pick them up, we discovered the uh, bigger one is still too small for the person she was purchasing it for. Uh, so I told her I would go ahead and make a um, bigger one in the same color. It was the dusty purple kind of uh, color. So I went ahead and started it up. Um, of the orders that I have, this is the next, well, no, I lied. I was going to say this was the next biggest one, but I have a baby side I got to finish up too. So we'll get there. We're getting there. I wanted to get this one done since it is now fall. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, I'm not sure if the, purchase, the person that she got it for wanted it for this fall season and stuff. So I want to get it done. And it's not hard at all. I'll show you guys the pattern. This is by Heart Hook Home. This is a pay for pattern off of Ravelry. Um, this is the infant and child sizes of the Painted Canyon cardigan. There's an adult size version. Um, that's cute that I have plans to make for myself. Um, and this has all the sizes that you need all the way up to size 10, 12, which is the size I'm going to be making. Um, it's a 10, 12. So let me show you guys. I got it started. I got quite a few rows on last night. And this is it so far. This is like the back side and then and then you fold it like that. This color is I love this color. Um the yarn I'm using is the Yarn B soft and sleek um in french lilac um this is a four weight yarn low pill acrylic 100 percent low pill acrylic 232 yards i love this yarn this yarn um line or whatever you want to call it the colors in there are just like this these muted um like matte colors i love them um, so yeah, this, the purple is what she wanted. So I'm going to make that. And then the last thing I have to show you guys, look, now that I'm doing these weekly, these, um, these episodes are pretty short because instead of doing them every other week, like I was where I had more stuff to show you guys, now I'm doing weekly. So it's, it's less, but We'll see how this goes and, you know, go from there. Um, I follow uh, Christy's Crochet Creations on Facebook and YouTube. And um, on Monday nights, she has what is, is a virtual knit night. Um, and it starts at 8 o'clock. And I can't quite join at 8 o'clock um, because that's right around when my daughter's going to bed. So I join as soon as I can um, right after she goes to bed. And we do a lot of talking, a lot of laughing, a lot of sharing. It's a really good time. I look forward to it every single Monday. And so I started this blanket. This is my knit night because I can't work on anything that I have to concentrate on because I'm too busy talking. So uh, this is my knit night project. Um, and this is just going to be a simple striped blanket. This color, I hope you guys can see it, is absolutely gorgeous. And then there's white. Um, the yarn I'm using is Bernat Baby Velvets in Terracotta Rose. And I'm striping it with Bernat Velvets in white. So 
so yes, I'm just doing like a large stripe of, because I think I have five balls of these, <coughs> excuse me, five um, skeins of these. Um, I got them on sale when I stopped by at Joanne's earlier in the year, just by, by chance. I think I'll stop by and see what they have, and they had these on clearance, and they were on clearance for $5.47, so that's a really good deal. So I bought some. And then I uh, bought some of these in between um, when I had a coupon and stuff. Now, the Burnett Baby Velvet, there is 492 yards. It's 100% polyester, okay? And it says it's a four medium weight. The Burnett Velvet is 315 yards, but it says it's a five bulky. So when I hold them just beside each other and I grab a, a strand from each, they don't seem like they are different, um, but when I started working in the white stripe, I could tell there's a difference, which it's not a big deal, but it's just kind of weird. It's They're both velvet, but I guess the uh, terracotta rose is a baby velvet, um, so I guess that's the difference, but... Um, you can't really tell. I just can tell by, and I it looks a little bit thicker on the white white on the white stripe versus the colored stripe. I don't know if you guys can see it, but um, I I'm gonna keep it the way it is because in the end, it's just gonna be this nice cozy soft blanket and. Nothing else really matters when you got a nice cozy soft blanket. Um, I don't think anybody's going to sit there and be like they buy it for me and they're like, okay, the white's a little bit thicker than the color. It's just everyone's their worst critic. And I very much am that person. I, I critique my things to a T. Um, very, very picky. Um, this is my stitch marker. This is where I was last time I showed you guys. So I got that in and one knit night. And it's a B stitch that I'm using. Just easy. Back and forth, not counting anything. Um, I wish I made it a little bit wider for all the yarn that I have because I think I did 25 rows of the color and I still have quite a bit in the skein and I have five skeins. And I don't want to be too long versus it's wide, but I'm in it. We're going to do it just wide and then if I have leftover, then I'll just find another project to put it in. But yes, I like it. Super soft. Um, Other than that, that's all I have to show you guys. Um, I'll continue to do this weekly. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying it. So give me some feedback. I appreciate it. Um, and hopefully now that my big project is done, Mr. Cow, I'm hoping to have more things to show you. Um, the sweater, you know, I have plans to have it done this week and I have an order for uh, some pumpkins. Um, and then I got two baby sets that I got to do yet, um, which those are kind of larger projects with smaller pieces. So we'll see what happens in the next few weeks. Um, trying to make hats in between. Um, so yeah, um, some of these YouTube followers that blah, some of the people, <laughs> excuse me, some of the crochet YouTubers that I follow, um, they do like year like uh, the cozy cottage crochet like last year she did year of the sock and this year's year of the classics and um different um youtubers that i follow do different things like that and i started thinking um now that i'm getting more into making hats and i'm really liking it and there's some other hat patterns i want to try um i think i was thinking about and it, it's only what september and I don't know why I'm thinking about this, but um, maybe for next year doing like a hat, a hat a month. I was thinking about doing the socks, the knitting socks and stuff. I don't know, but I'm really enjoying this, this hat making. So I think I might make it a, a goal to make a hat every month. Um, we'll see. And at this point, I'm just babbling. So thank you for listening to me as I babble. Um, I want to thank all my uh, new subscribers and returning subscribers for following me. I really do appreciate it. Um, I keep getting more and more. 
uh, subscribers, um, which is very exciting. I get excited every time I see, like, we haven't, uh, my numbers go up by one, by two. I'll check later and I'll be uh, free. It's really exciting, um, especially being as new as I am versus the people that have been doing this for a year or more. So thanks for listening to me babble. Um, and I hope to see you guys next week. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thank you.